boys and girls, Mr. Fool here. <coughs> As promised, we are going to look at how to multiply a fraction times a fraction and how that looks in a problem. So, <coughs> today, uh, the problem is I had half a piece of left over from Tuesday. On Wednesday, my dog took a third of it off my plate when I wasn't looking. How much of the pizza did Hunter get? And Hunter is the name of my dog. So, I've already gone ahead and annotated the important quantities. Half of the pizza left, and my dog took one third of it. Okay. So those are the important quantities and relationships. And I've already underlined the question, so I want to know how much of the pizza did Hunter actually get? So let's build on what we did the other day. First of all, let's try to show this. How can I look at these quantities? How could I show them? Well, I'm going to start out with a simple drawing, because I like to draw. And here's my drawing. And I'm going to say, it's a Lido pizza, so it's rectangular. And here is the half. Oops. Here's the half that I had to start with. So notice, I'm always starting with, starting my drawings with, what did I start with? And I'm going to make these diagonal slashes to stand for the half. Okay. Now, right now, notice there's two whole pieces of this pizza. One half has been eaten, one half is left. My dog took a third of it. Now I want to show what my dog took. So I've got to divide this whole pizza into thirds. Here's one. Here's what Hunter ate. Here's what my dog ate. Did he eat one third of it? Yes. And so I am going to shade in. This time I'm going to make my hash marks go the other way. The only part that I have is right here. So, what part? of this whole pizza did my dog, Hunter, eat? Well, there were six pieces to begin with. He has now eaten one third of the half that I had. So he has eaten one sixth. So Hunter ate one sixth of the pizza. Can we show it with a number line? We certainly can. I'm going to try to use the same colors. This time, where will I stop? Well, I only had one pizza. There's a half. And here is the half. That Hunter ate. Here's the half that I had him. Here's the half that I had left. This is what was left. Now, my dog ate a third of it, which means now I've got to divide this hole and my holes into thirds. So, one. Two, three. I got it up, but it's half and a third. One, two, three. Now, really, what have I created? Well, I've created six pieces to my hole, so each of these is one sixth. Okay. So now, so, how much did Hunter eat? Well, we can only take from this part, he ate. this much. Now, how much of the whole pizza is that? Okay. I have six pieces of the whole pizza. Hunter ate one-sixth of the pizza. Same answer. 
Let's look at uh, how could we show this with an algorithm? Well, what did I? I wanted to find 108 one third of one half, which we said the other day meant in math is the same as one third times one half. And when we multiply fractions, numerator times denominator, one times one, denominator times denominator, three times two. And what, what do we get? One six. And so two different ways to show it and another way to actually solve it mathematically. So let's ask one last question. Suppose my dog, let me spread this out. Suppose Hunter had eaten, what if he had eaten three-fourths of the half that were left? Hmm. This time I'm going to stick just with my picture because of space. I'm still going to start with, here is the one half that, that was left over. Okay. okay. Now this time, my dog ate three fourths of what was left. I'm going to divide this into fourths, which means I have to divide this into fourths, which means I have one, two, three, eight pieces. Now he ate three-fourths of it, so this is one-fourth, and this is one-fourth, and this is one-fourth. So he ate three-fourths of it, one-fourth of it, two-fourths of it, three-fourths of it. And so in all, what did he eat? Well, eight pieces would have been in the whole pizza. He ended up getting three-eighths of the pizza. Hmm? If I'd done it mathematically, three-fourths of one-half is the same as three-fourths times one-half, which is three times one, four times two, which is three-eighths. So the point of this, boys and girls, is to show you that when you're multiplying fractions, the rule is no different than if you're multiplying a fraction times a whole number. We did change, we didn't have to change anything because both of our factors were already fractions. Numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. Our final answer, three-eighths. If we wanted to make sure, we could go back and make a drawing to prove it. So, I hope this has been helpful. The next time, we'll review one of these before we start to show you what if you have a mixed number times a fraction. Bye.